Hi everyone, it's Dolly with Crafty Mermaid Mom. Hope you guys had a great week. Today I have a project share for you. And my project share is an embellishment box that I created for my friend Fiona. So I have to thank Fiona because I'm actually meeting her for lunch tomorrow and that's when we're gonna exchange our um, creations. And she's the one who texted me and said, Dolly, don't forget to video what you have created for me before you pass it along to me. And she was absolutely right. I have a habit of forgetting to take pictures or video certain things that I make. And at that point, when she reminded me, she was right. I totally forgot to video it. It's been a crazy busy week for me. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Um, what Fiona and I decided to do was a Christmas silver and baby pink theme. Now, with what I made her, it was very hard for me to find a lot of Christmas themed pieces. I managed to find a few, but um, I, I would say that this box can be used for something other than Christmas themed. It, it is supposed to be in tune with Christmas, but like I said, there's not as many Christmas themed pieces in here. This is what I end up being able to locate or being able to pick up or find. So let me go ahead and show you. This is very simple. I didn't go too extravagant on this. And all I did basically was on the top where the dome portion of this box is, I found some silver letters that I already had in my stash and I just glued them using a hot glue gun to the top of the dome and also bent the letters a little bit so that they would lay flat right on top of the dome. Let me show you how this looks. Um, and then I used two of my fabric flowers that I made recently and they go perfect with it because I happen to have one in white and I happen to have one in a baby pink. So what I've done over here is see these diamond shaped fabric pieces. These were actually a long ribbon that my mom had shared with me a while back. And all I did was take the ribbon and it was a straight ribbon about two inches thick. And I cut the diamond shapes out. And all I did was I added these cute little snowflake pieces. They're like pearlescent color which they're just made of plastic and i think i purchased these little embellishment pieces or beads from michael's it could have been michael's i'm not 100 percent sure i bought them a while back so it could have also been hobby lobby but anyway all i did was i stuck a piece of the tiny plastic pink gems on each of the tip of those and I thought that came out really cute. So on the sides of this box, all I've done was added lace. I used my hot glue gun, and then I also used my clear iridescent strand of plastic pearls and wrapped that all the way around the lid. And so let me show you how that looks. Okay. And that was basically it, it was very simple. And so I did add lace on the inside. That's what you see on the outer part of this lid is the lace. So let me open it up and show you guys. This piece of lace right here is also from my mom. She had given me like a yard and I just cut a piece of it and I glued it to the inside so that it would have that effect on the outside of the cover. I thought it looked very feminine and this is what I filled her embellishment box with and of course as you know I think I mentioned this before Fiona and I decided that we would swap what we already had at home kind of like what we you know swapped last time so we wanted to not have to shop for each other and just utilize what we already had in our stash so you know I told her I might purchase a few little things, but for the most part, half of this I already had at home. So here is what I have given or gifted to her. This little piece right here is an embellishment that was made by my friend Liv. And 
I love this. She had given me some tags and this was on it. And it was really hard for me to part with this because I think it is so pretty. And I was holding on to it because I actually wanted to use it to copy. If, you know, if I ever made some, I thought this was a perfect example of how I could make a really cute shabby chic one. But I decided to share this with Fiona and I hope she likes it because I love it. And then this piece right here, this is glass glitter. And it's so cute. I love that it's in a bottle like this. But my friend Zeta had gifted this to me along with a, a few other colors. Um, I think blue and green. They were kind of like ocean colors. But I decided to share this pink one because it matches really well. And then I also shared some um, clothespins with her that are in the baby pink. So that's what I have in this area right here which I thought looked really, really pretty. And then I have shared some pieces of imitation diamonds, I guess. They're beads. And these look very similar to what she had gifted me before. Um, Fiona had taken an old chandelier and there were a bunch of tiny pieces like this that she cleaned and shared with me. Now hers are real. Um, from her chandelier, they're, you know, real crystal. These are plastic crystals. And then I have shared this ribbon with her. It's a silver ribbon, along with some cute little metal jewelry pieces. And then this, I did just get this in the wedding section at Hobby Lobby. I thought they were cute and she could utilize these for other projects that she's working on and I always like to clip stuff with a little hair clip and this little tiny hair clip is like a piece of metal um, hair clip but it's really cute it looks very vintage thought I would share that with her and then in this little area right here are some baby pink organza roses and I thought those look very feminine so in this area right here, I've gifted her with some of those beads, the snowflake beads that look kind of a little shiny pearlescent. And um, these are what I used on the front right here. And so I thought she might be able to use some. And then also these little silver flowers. I purchased these just recently before I made this at Hobby Lobby and I thought she can always use those. I mean, even though they're not Christmassy, they're still silver and she could incorporate them into a Christmas theme. Okay, and then here, these little tiny ribbons, I was also gifted these by my friend. And gosh, I feel so bad, I forget who gifted these to me. I think it was Jayana also, but Correct me if I'm wrong, if you guys gifted this to me, if one of you who, who is watching gifted this to me and it wasn't Jayana, please correct me and I apologize. Um, my memory is so bad. And then these little tiny flowers, I added. They're um, kind of like crocheted looking flowers, but I thought they were pretty. They came off of a piece of lace. And then I also gifted her with several pink buttons in various sizes and then these little tiny roses are so so adorable these are made out of felt and these came from my friend clarissa and i love the colors of these i thought they were really pretty this came in, a, in an embellishment box that clarissa had made for me a while back and then these beads right here come in like a pearlescent color and they come in the iridescent color in various sizes and I wanted to share these with her. I had just purchased these from Hobby Lobby. They were on sale and I got a big box of them so I wanted to share those with her. And then I have some trim. So this is just iridescent sequence trim that's on a string and I thought that was really pretty. This right here is just a piece of ribbon that's in a silver. If I can get it out, thought that was really pretty. And then this right here is another ribbon that is of a Christmas, a pink Christmas tree print. And then the last little area right here, more of the little tiny 
silver and white flowers. I gave her a few pieces of those. And then these are little tiny plastic flowers. They're kind of like beads, but she can string these or, you know, just use them for something other than stringing onto a, um, onto a chain or, I don't know, I guess she can just glue these down and cover the holes on top with a piece of bead to make it just a, you know, a flower, a decorative flower, and then some glitter, some silver glitter, and then also some pink glitter. This is fine pink glitter, but I thought she might be able to use that, and that is it. So this is a very, very simple embellishment box, and I hope that Fiona likes it. I'm excited to see what she has created for me because she is so talented, you guys. I hope you all enjoyed this project share and I enjoyed sharing with you. So enjoy the rest of your week and I hope to see you soon. Bye everyone and thanks for watching.